Hello and welcome to my craft room. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Chief Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. I have two really cute Christmas cards to show you with matching gift tags, and they are made in just a couple of minutes. And you most likely have just about everything you need in your craft stash. If you don't, you're bound to have something that you can substitute. Because remember, we're cheapskates. We can switch things out if we need to. I'm using red cards because <laughs> obviously they're Christmas. Normally, I would use white Kmart card bases, you know that. I got these red cards, pack of six for $2.50 from the $2 shop. Why red? Because they fit the card theme and it's Christmas. But coloured cards, including the red, come with a challenge in that they're coloured inside too. So that makes writing your message or stamping your message a bit difficult. So I've cut a mat of white cardstock that we will start by gluing inside the card. Okay. Now I've cut it. These are your regular C6 cards. So they're 14 and a half centimetres long, 10 and a half centimetres wide, which means I've cut this at 13 and a half by nine and a half so that it gives a nice border all the way around now when i cut you'll notice too when i cut it there's a smooth side and then there's a side that's a bit um rougher or a sort of turned under almost that's from the cutting blade on the paper trimmer ideally you're going to put it uh, smooth side down but sometimes we when we cut our card we don't check to see which side we're cutting on and you'll have rough edges all the way around so get your bone folder and just go zip along those edges those cut edges and it flattens them right down and smooths them over so you, you don't end up with rough edges inside your card all right I'm using art glitter glue. This is my go-to liquid glue because you might think it's expensive to buy and when you buy your first bottle you might have hysterics and think it's overly expensive and what is Kath talking about but you use very very little art glitter glue. You probably can't see it but there is a tiny, tiny bead of glue along there. And we only use a tiny, tiny bead because it's liquid. We don't want it to smoosh out when we put it down. And this glue is super strong. I'm sure I've told you before that um, AJ borrowed some to use for modelling and... He was so impressed with it he stole my stole my bottle of glue so last year in his christmas stocking he got uh, glitter glue i'm just popping that in there and i am just trying to center it as best we can that's now ready for stamping and writing now give it a bit of a hold a burnish on both sides actually and if you try and use the middle of your bone folder you get a better fold i don't know why you just do now this is going to be a father christmas card a santa claus card so we have his belt we have some buttons and what on earth happened to his buckle? Oh, no, we found his buckle. OK, 
can never find things when you need them, can you? Alrighty, this is so simple. I have cut a piece of black glitter paper or card. This is sort of a cross between paper and card. It was out of my stash. It measures 10 and a half that way by two centimetres that way. And we are going to, I'm not putting that away, we're going to stick it down just with our art glitter glue. We'll just stick it down. All right, so a little on the back. You should be able to see it because it's white on the back. Don't run your bead of liquid glue. You can use tape runner if you've got it, but don't run your bead of liquid glue right on the edge because you don't want it to smoosh out. Now this does dry clear, which is good. But you still don't want it to smoosh out. Alrighty, you can decide where you want it to go. I want it sort of just under halfway, I think looks good. There we go. There's Santa's belt on his jacket. That's his buckle. I've cut it out of silver glitter paper. You could cut it out of gold if you have gold. You could make that a bit straighter. That's all right. Um, you could use foil paper. You could just use plain black or plain silver or plain gold colored paper. Doesn't really matter. It's entirely what use what you've got now. I'm going to put some in the corners just because I want it to be stuck right down and sticking over glitter can be challenging. Now to make this square, ah, uh oh, good thing it dries clear, but we'll just smush that off. Um, to make the buckle, I cut a square. That's um, I cut a one and a half. I took a piece of silver paper cardstock, and I here we go. Cut it at two by two, squared it up so it was perfectly square. I then punched using this punch. This is an old um, Creative Memories punch. I've had this for yeah, 20 years, 20 or so years. I used the one and a quarter inch square to punch out that. Then I simply trimmed the excess so that the border was three mil all the way around. And that gave me his buckle. It took a couple of minutes. See, it does dry clear, not even a mark. Just took a couple of minutes to cut it out. It wasn't difficult at all. If you don't have a punch, a square punch, you might have dies. If you don't have dies, draw a square. Use a Stanley knife or a blade. I don't have one here, I don't think. Stanley knife or a blade to cut it out and then trim around it to make your buckle easy. So, so simple. Now all we have to do is add his buttons. I have chosen to use these gems that were in my stash and I'm going to do I think five because odd numbers look better one two three four five there are the scissors and I'll trim them off one two three four five I think odd numbers look better and I'm going to have to turn it this way so that I can Pretty much put one roughly in the center there and snip. Now these little gems come with glue already on the back, which is really handy. Unless they stick to your fingers. I just want it to be sort of centered. That looks about right. Because then I'm going to snip another one and put it at the top. use this hook will help so that it's roughly in line look straight then we'll cut one for the middle yep 
lost it. Come on, come on. Sticking to my sticky scissors. That's roughly in the middle. Let's move it over so it's in line. And then we just do the other two go in between. Oh, go down. So they're sort of centered in the gap. Okay. And there you go. There's your Father Christmas card ready for sentiment inside and for you to write your message. How easy was that? So, so simple. So, so simple and pretty much made using scraps. Other than the card bases. There's that. Okay, now let me pop these away because we don't need them anymore. And we'll get started on card number two because it's a little more challenging just because we like to mix things up around here. Put the lid on the glue and we'll turn it upside down so it runs down. It might need refilling. This one is going to be a Mrs. Claus. And it's going to be a Mrs. Claus apron card. So same red C6 cardstock base, um, 14 and a half, 10 and a half. And I've cut the mat for the inside. Same as um, 13 and a half by 9 and a half. The difference is we have to turn this into an apron. So how do we do that? We get a pencil and a ruler. And we do some measuring and marking and a little bit of cutting. So we are going to measure five centimeters down and put a dot. And then on the fold side, measure five centimeters and put a dot. Across the top, we're going to measure in two and a half and put a dot. And do the same from the other side, two and a half, and put a dot. Now, put your ruler there and line up with the dots and draw a line. Do the same on this side. Now, remember, I went from the inside of the card to join up my dots. So on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Join up the dots from the inside, from the centre. And you'll be going, why? Because it actually does make a difference with the angle that's cut and the spacing. But then all I'm going to do is take some scissors. Goodness me. All right, we won't take scissors. We'll take the guillotine. Need a little guillotine. And we'll line it up along the edge. And cut. I'm cutting through two layers of card, so it is going to be a bit. Now, this way, we'll go this way and do the same thing. Line it up on the edge so that it's right and cut. There you go. There's your apron front. To make the mat for the inside, because if we use this, you can see it's just not going to. We have to do the same thing. So we measure down five centimeters we measure down four centimeters no sorry leading astray we're still measuring down five centimeters no we're not four centimeters oh don't mind me four, you'd think with all of these that i've made i would just automatically know it and that's part of the problem i do and then 
the top we're going in two centimeters so line it up we're going two and one two there we go same deal because i'm using the guillotine i won't bother with pencil lines i will just make sure my here we go Line it up, line it up. And that's it. Okay. There we go. Oops. And it fits. Now you can erase those dots if you want to. Or oh, you can just flip it over. Because we haven't used the other side yet. And I will be flipping it over, but I will also be doing the um bone folder trick to smooth the edges down just because if you're going to take the time to make a card you might as well do it properly and you might as well do it nicely so that it's something nice and there it goes like that okay so let's get this stuck in Bottle must be nearly empty. There we go. Okay. And there's the apron insert. Just line it up, line it up. So it looks centered okay done now we have to decorate the front so you have some options here i'm going to just use what i have because i'm using up my stash we need a pocket for the front so i have this scrap of pretty white glitter that i think is going to look nice on that what I'm going to do is cut a half circle out of this, roughly a half circle. There we go. To be our pocket. Okay. Now, if I had some, I would cut some little silver or gold utensils you know spatulas spoons that sort of thing and slip them inside the pocket but I don't have those so I am going to glue the pocket down if you do have those dies they are so so handy um Hannah has them but of course she's not here with her craft stuff so I am using what I have Ooh. now roughly again just below halfway on the card stick it down it's looking better but a little bit plain it's sort of centered yes all right to pretty it up because I don't have those little utensils I do have these really cute little poinsettias now these have sticky on the back a bit of a pop dot sticky up thing they're just gorgeous and of course poinsettias scream Christmas so that's going on there just like that then because I don't have a I didn't have a scalloped punch that would be big enough to make a frill I'm going to take a string of these gems that um, from are from my stash and my stash came from Arthur Daly's here in Melbourne it's a discount sort of 
everything type shop oops don't push them down yet and push it around curve it around now again they're self sticky so it's really good you do not need to worry about putting glue on the back of them and i think i need three one two three lost the scissors Oops, only needed two. I'm going to stretch it up a bit. There we go. Put that back on the sheet. All right. Now, aprons also need ribbons for neckties. So what I've done is cut a length of white just a little length of white it's only about 10 centimeters and it's going to go on there i'm going to glue that there so to do that a couple of little dots there of art glitter glue pop the ends into the ribbon in hold it for a second till it sticks Bring it around watch your curve as you're bringing it around so that it doesn't twist there we go ta-da okay that will dry in just a couple of seconds put the pin back in my nozzle back upside down okay to cover those ends and because you know aprons usually have knots there or something i'm going to use two of these big sort of silver stud things these were two dollars fifty a packet from the two dollar shop and i think there's over 200 220 or something in a packet so they're very affordable they last a long time but they just add a finishing touch to your card or your scrapbook layout or, or whatever you're making there we go now there is plenty of room here for a really nice sentiment what i've got are these merry christmas so i'm going to Lift one off if I can. Oops. Is that really fine? But it's pretty. Okay, come on. It doesn't want to come off the backing sheet. I always seem to have trouble with these things, don't I? So, so fine. Okay, now, I'm not going to actually stick it down. I'm just going to sort of lay it where I think it might look the reason why it's not centred. So, let's get the Christmas off. Wowzers. I think I've bent that one out of shape. All right, let's try another one. This one's still got, hasn't been um, weeded properly. Okay, here we go. My bright ideas guys seemed like a good idea at the time cut off gently so it doesn't stretch these are really really fine okay i 
think it's actually going to look quite nice if I can get it. Now, that S is a bit. It needs to be like that. It needs to be like that. That's probably more centered than this. So let's lift this. Let's lift the merry. That's why you don't stick things down properly until you've checked them so that you can actually center it up. you believe after all of that if you have another sticker you could stamp something here if you want to just needs to go just a little <laughs> come on I should have got some transfer tape and done this, shouldn't I? That would have worked. Keep it up, I might still go and do that. Right. It's a bit crooked. There we go, now let's fix the Christmas. to <sighs> running downhill it's all running downhill that's all this s this middle s it's a causing the drama a bit better. This is Merry Christmas. You could use that or you could use something like one of these that says Merry Christmas. I didn't choose to go with this because it's gold. I like that better. The silver fits with the silver. I might have to go back and fix that later because it's running downhill and it's going to annoy me. But that's your apron card done, ready to stamp and write in. There's two cards, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Okay. Now, I said they have matching gift cards and they do. To do those, again, we've got red and we've got white. No special equipment needed to make these. I've cut um, red cardstock at four inches by two and a quarter, white cardstock at four inches by two and a quarter. I measured down, I can't remember how far down I measured, three centimeters. Um, on each side and in two centimeters and cut it off and that's what we are about to do get the scissors get the scissors as I just had a pair of scissors what did I do with them seriously and they're bright pink so I can't lose them and guess what I lost them here they are Oh, these ones will work better. Okay. Using that white one, your original as a guide, just go snip and snip. And same for this one. 
snip and snip and snip and snip now I chose to make the gift tags double layered just because I could white on white's a bit harder to see there we go all right that's it all righty simple they fit together like so all right nope let's go that way to match up oh, right. I'm not really that wrong. I think they're right okay hole punch this is the closest thing I had to gold ribbon so it will have to do through the hole I didn't have silver ribbon and I'm out of white so I'm using my stash this is what was in my stash there we go um, punch a hole. put through some ribbon and then we decorate the front and you pretty much decorate the front exactly the same way we did the cards um, and then you have the white on the back to write on so father christmas has his belt so let's get some glue on there just like that cut the buckle the same way you can do it any size you like you can do it a rectangle if you prefer a rectangle to a square i did squares because that's the punch i had and this is the i cut a three quarter inch punched out oops my stick is it there we go punched out a three quarter inch square and then measured a three mil border all the way around it and let's get some buttons and this time we'll just use three and one there and one there and one there and there's Santa Claus's gift card done. All right, now let's do Mrs. Claus's gift card. What did I do with it? Kind of lost it. All right, this one needs trimming up. So let's just trim it up a bit. I have to tell you, I always get a giggle every time I say trim it up a bit or it needs trimming up. Because a while, oh, a few years ago now, I was making cards with a friend and we had so much trouble following the instructions for this particular card we were trying to make. It was driving us nuts. We could not get it. Uh, to work for me is it what can i use to make a slightly bigger pocket oh no that'll be fine here we go i just had a bright idea i know it's amazing um we were making this card we could not three times each we tried to make this particular card and the folds just would not line up we were watching a youtube tutorial because you know they're full of bright ideas and would you believe that we got to the end of the tutorial and the lady said oh and if it doesn't line up just trim off the excess we should have watched it from the beginning 
all the way around. Right, so I am just because this, this, like this, like this, like this, snip in there. Okay, pop those back on there. Now, dare I try? Dare I try? Poinsettia is just going to be too big to put there, but I might be able to pop it there. There you go. Let me clear the rubbish out of the way for you so you can see. And we have Merry Christmas and her gift tag. And we have Santa Claus and his gift tag. Matching gift tags. There we go. Pretty much made from scraps out of my craft room other than the card stock the white card with scraps left over from other projects i keep a scrap um, box and i keep it sorted by colors so i reached into the white pulled out some bits and there you go two really cute very simple quick to make christmas cards that look amazing and can be mass produced very very easily if you're running late with your christmas cards and you want something special the santa card or the mrs claus card so so simple to do and if you're giving them as a gift the matching gift tags are really simple and cute too well if you've made it this far with all the fluffing and kerfuffling and losing things thank you if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button because, oh, well, all sorts of things happen here. I go live every Tuesday. You never know what sort of crafty bits I'm going to be turning up with. But we'd just love to have you as a subscriber anyway, as part of our Cheapskates community. If you like the video, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. And if you know anyone who might like to know how to make these cute cards or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, just click that share link. It sends them a link. We don't harass them. Nothing else happens. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back soon with another Cheapskates Club video showing you how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. But until then... Happy cheapskating, everyone.